Hey YouTubers, Neil O'Neill's Coins. Got a Morgan dollar to show you. Uh, pretty neat coin. I'm going to tell you, this is a pretty good find. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because of some comments I have got in the past about grading companies doing varieties. Uh, and I think the comment stated that no matter what, that the green companies, uh, if they see something, uh, they're supposed to notify the, the owner of the coin to see if it's going to need to be verified or not. They all, don't always do that. And this is an example. All right. At first glance, you would say, well, that's just a regular 1887 Morgan dollar, MS63, graded by PCGS, the top grading company that is out there. This is a little bit of an older slab, not too old. Real nice coin overall. Let me zoom in. Real nice coin overall. Like I stated, back is tattered up just like a 63 grade. Front's got some hits right there in front of her ear. But what makes this coin special is <clears throat> not only is it an 1887 Morgan dollar, it's an 1887 over six Morgan dollar. Now, the value at 1887 MS63 PCGS puts it puts it right at a hundred bucks. But realistically, you could probably get this coin from 70 to 75, 80 bucks all day long. Now, it being at 1887 over six, which I'm fixing to show you. It blows it out of the park. It's 10 times that. Yes. PCGS values a 87 over 6 Morgan dollar at $1,000. But realistically, I think the last one it sold at auction two years ago. Uh, went for 800 bucks so you could probably still get one for about 800 to to 900 dollars in today's market now let's look at this coin close up if you zoom in at the seven You can see it as clear as day. If I can hold this thing still and get my, find me a pointer. A little toothpick here. You can see the outline of where the six was. A little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. This camera should do this thing just as far as you seeing this? You can see it with your naked eye. I'm going to try something just so I can say I did at least try. Yep, there it is. This is that 18, 87 over 6. Morgan dollar. Now, another way to verify this on this variety, it's a VAM 2. All your VAM people out there. There's a little line in front of her uh, right there. If I can get it in there. Right there in front of her eye, there's a little bit of a line. That's another die indicator. So what we have here 
is a top 100 VAM 2 Morgan dollar that PCGS values at $1,000. Now back to my point at the beginning of the video. I found this coin at our auction. Let me back up again. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm in a coin club in Carrollton, Georgia. Uh, we have an auction every Monday night. I'm actually the sergeant of arms now. I used to be the president of the club, but um, I am a elected official. I guess you could say that we I was voted in. But anyway, this is the second one that I have found that has come through the auction that was not found. So you can find these out here in the world. I would go to every coin show. I might do that from now on. Um, every coin show from now on, I'm going to pull up this regular slab 87s and look for this variety because it's worth it. Because I made nine, uh, what I make. Let me tell you what I paid for it. I paid $80 for this coin through the auction. Yes, I did see it. No, I did not say anything because, hey, you need to look at your coins. Now, there's another variety I'm going to tell you about when I got the coin in my hand. It might seem silly, but there is another die variety. It is called the Donkey Tail variety. I'm not sure of the VAM number right off of my bat. I'm thinking it's a three. Don't quote me on that. I know VAM 12 is what they call an alligator eye. But the donkey tail variety, right here at the D, it has a die crack all the way around. There's a hair. And right on the end of the D, it looks like it has a tail. Now, if you were to find one of those, this coin at MS63 would be $9,500. So that's another one to look at. Look at the D on dollar on the reverse on an 87 Philadelphia minted coin. If it has a little tail due to a die crack, I wish I had an example, but I can't afford one to show you. That's called a donkey tail variety, and it and in MS63, which this is, it would be $9,500 according to PCGS. Uh, so look at your Morgans. They don't always, all you know, they don't check for varieties. When you send a coin in to get graded, that's a whole different department. So your grader may not know what to look for. You got a whole another section of people that that's all they do is varieties. So it has to go to them. You have to pay extra. Let me make sure you know that. You have to pay extra for them to do it. And it's usually $18. Well, this is my find of the year, I guess. Uh, pretty good find. This coin will be for sale. Uh, will I send it back in to have it classified? Maybe, maybe not. Somebody wants to buy it like this because, you know, it's, I think it's neater to have it like this, not notified or verified. Notified, listen to me. Verified, uh, it's kind of neat. Might be more collectible down the road, but I imagine I'll sell it just like this. Anyway, just want to show you that coin, find of the year so far. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.